Welcome back, everybody, to the Clash Bash. I am here with Elaine, and we're about to go into the top eight. We have Eric's and Teppa facing off for in a best of three. So let's just jump on over to it. Okay, so it looks like we have Ira and Icelander for Eric's, and Kano and Icelander for Teppa. And this is the Ira versus Kano matchup. All right. We've we've watched Tippa play Kano quite a few games, I believe, if I'm uh, if I'm remembering correctly, in the Clash League. Yeah, Tippa is a wizard enjoyer, it seems like, and these players are just speeding by. Was that a critical strike? The good old one for five red. Um. So what I do we have? Think so. AB three on the side of Ira. Um, and on the side of Kano, nothing, nothing tricky. The Iron Rat Gauntlet, as we saw last time, just for that block value. Uh, do you have any thoughts about this matchup of who's favored or how it's going to go? Um, you know, honestly, I really don't know. Clash is kind of, <laughs> Clash is kind of funny. I think that Ira could be really good in Clash because Ira is, Ira is really good in, in Commoner, um, Kano, I think it's a little bit tricky for here, but we've seen Teppa do it so many times. This was a Mage Master Boots Pop turn one for Kano. So this is an Aether Quickening for four. Uh, no bonus effects because it's not buffed, but for our Kano damage is still a lot. And when you pop the Mage Master Boots, you have to be thinking, what's coming next for this Kano player? Looks like we're deciding on pitching to the AB or, or not. Uh, Eric's is just. And it's always hard, right? Because this could be a bait spell. This could just be four damage and something like a Sonic Boom comes next, which will then play more cards off the top. It could just be an energy potion next. It could be a physical attack next. You really never know how much AB to pitch for an hour and how much to save for later. It looks like they only pitched one, and it was an energy potion, so that two floating is just wasted. The mind games of Kano are real. Yeah, I love and, mind games. I think I'm going to be a wizard gamer uh, pretty soon here. But we are coming in with a brutal assault from Ira. This is really, this is a really interesting Ira build. <laughs> Yeah, it's really just like good value, good blocks. Uh, I assume yeah. they just haven't drawn any zero cost blues yet to send those Kadachis over. And they really just want to hold their resources up to counter anything that Kano does or play Sigil. That's even better. Oh, but Kano's going to respond with a Kano activation. I don't think you can kill from 16, but you never know. And it was a blue scolding. Not the best color scolding, but still going to be five damage. One of my favorite arts in the game, by the way. That poor little dude and the art is just getting obliterated. Scolding is one of your favorite arts. Yeah. Moretta Scolding. Oh, wow. It's just such a graphic art for a wizard card of just some dude's face getting blown off. You really don't see that very often in wizard cards. I like how, like, the uh, the old man in it is just, like, so classic wizard looking, too. Like, just in any when you think fantasy wizard, that is what you think. And he's, like you said, brutally just burning that guy's face off. <laughs> that did basically just time walk, though, Kano. Uh, he had to use all of his cards just to send that scolding. So now Ira gets a full grip of five, and let's see how much damage she can do. Yeah, I'm really curious to see what that arsenal card was, because we saw a Whirling Mist Blossom pitched. Um, and that, if you don't know, is Ira's specialization card. It looks like a Kadachi for one. Go again. With go again, yes. Oh, that'd be real bad without go again. Oh, I've done that before. <laughs> I have I have pitched a, the wrong card in draft. Just set one. Opponent doesn't block. I look at my hand and go, ooh, that's awkward. So these players are already better than me, which is good.
Looks like Kano took the first Kadachi. The second Kadachi is for two due to Iroh's text. Kano takes a two. Kano really just trying to hold on to his four cards to maybe Arsenal something, send some damage and chip Iroh down some. But this is a one for six. Doesn't kill Kano though, unless there's a sneaky little combat trick in there. Maybe a razor reflex or something else. Yeah, just uh, again, just like a a good on raid cards. This seems to be the the way this Ira deck is built, which I, I think is really smart. Yeah, and that's really how you beat Kano, right? If you're just on rate raiding Kano, he really doesn't have space to do anything. Like Kano just skipped his turn again. He arsenal, he passed. He's really just trying to keep enough cards to actually do something. Yeah. And Teppa knows what he's doing. We've seen them play multiple times before. So I assume he is cooking something over there. But Ira with the full grip. Ira normally can't utilize all five cards unless they have something like a surging strike in their hand with go again. Otherwise, it's a little bit trickier for them. You know, we're so used to seeing people like Zen just take over these formats with 20 card combat chains and you come to Clash and it seems like a slower, more fair format. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I do think like the the last turn was really efficient, though, just like Karachi for one, Karachi for one. Here's six. Mm -hmm. Torn of Tempo is one of my favorite and cards really as well. It is like a two card hand when you think about it. Um, and oh, the damage. Razor. Ooh. The Razor. <laughs> razor plus Torn of Tempo, a tale old as time. You can't really play around it, but when it gets you, it feels terrible. This Kadachi is now for two due to Ira. And if you're in Kano, so you like to think, how do I survive? How do I keep a hand? If that card in Arsenal is another one for five, it's going to look real bad. Yeah, we have no clue what um, is. Oh, that's a looking go. for a scrap. Oh, it's even better. Scrap. I love that card. Yeah, it's seen some waves now in Classic Constructed with uh, Azuri and New. Yeah. Now it's showing its face over here in the Clash Bash. But, man, just stripping the cards out of Kano's hand. The good news is, if you're a Teppa fan, Ira only has four cards next turn. You might be able to buy a little bit of wiggle room, but you are officially Kodachi locked. Right, at, at two life, we'll see a Kano activation. Hoping for energy potion, maybe, or deja vu potion off the top. And it was a miss. Oh, that's rough. That doesn't that doesn't feel good, I'm sure. And here comes the Kodachis. A wizard's number one enemy. Just cuts by a thousand little pokes. Goliath gauntlet being popped. <laughs> Brutal assault. Four and nine coming across. And Kano's like, yeah, I can't respect that. I have to try to kill you here. Ragmuffin's hat still online. So there's a little bit of spicy stuff we can do there. 14 damage through two cards and AB3, though, is very rough. So a... Oh. Banish the Cindering. Yeah, it allows you to opt three and your next wizard spell this turn gets plus one damage. We're really making waves in the Blitz format with Blaze. Yep, I've seen this card played against me. Um... This blaze many times. Another Kano activation, it looks like. Reverberate, wait. Teppa is cooking here. That allows you to play a card from your hand that costs less than the damage dealt. Running a little low on resources, though. Yeah, the energy pot is still up. But if you're standing on top of you, just to hope, hope that A-Rex has two reds in their hand because they didn't swing the other Kodachi. Activates Crucible. 
Currently, their next spell will be for plus two. Reverberate comes across for five. That's a blue. You hate to see that. So that is only blue two damage. Trap. That's it does rough. Banish the quickening. Not enough damage, though. But wait, there's is E pot. You can still spell fire cloak the top card of your deck. With the cano activation, but it looks like Oh, and the sigil, just to say sigil. no. Oh, that was so well played by Arax. <laughs> but the snapback from Arsenal. <laughs> Kano just had it all too, but it wasn't enough. Wow, what a game. Yeah. Wow. But hey, this is best of three. So all those Tepa fans out there, don't you worry. We'll be back on the next episode to see how the next round goes. Well, congratulations to... <clears throat> A-Rex there on the fantastic game. Ira just putting out a little bit too much damage than Peppa could keep up with. I think I think that was really I like the way that Ira deck was built though. Like we talked about during the game. It was just really efficient, good on rate cards. Um but yeah, we'll be back next week with more clash or next episode with more clash. But I am Elaine. Um you can find me on on Twitter at e hammond tree um and i also run pitch perfect podcast pitch league and how about you mo where where can the people find you yeah you can find me over on twitter or x at mo Bogsley, on youtube at mo Bogsley, or on everybody else's channel so thank you guys so much for watching that was a ton of fun and we'll see you next episode All right, no, I practiced this. Don't don't laugh. I pra I got this. Wait, you're not sharing your screen. I know I am. I'm, I'm doing